If you watch a lot of music videos, then you are probably familiar with this effect. It's really common in a lot of rap music videos and it just adds an insane amount of energy. Well, in this tutorial, I'll be breaking down how you can create it from scratch. And I'll be showing you guys how you can create over 50 different variations of this effect. But real quick before we get into it, I just want to mention that I'm lurking visuals and I run the State Creative Store. Got all of the presets, assets, and all of that good stuff that you need to elevate your music video visuals. And you already know where to find the link to it, so let's get right into the tutorial. So we're in After Effects right now, and I got this Drake and Lugiati music video, and it's just a couple basic clips. There are no effects on these clips. So to create these effects, all you simply gotta do is right click, go to new, and create a new adjustment layer. So let's add on a transform effect to this clip, and we'll create a zoom hit first. So just for these last couple of frames. So I'll go to the cut right here and count 8 frames back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So right here I'll cut the adjustment layer. And I'll keyframe the scale as well as the position. And then go to the cut right here and zoom it in to like 200, something like this. And now basically if we go through this you can see that we just have a basic zoom. So I'll go two frames in and then I'll mess with the position. You can simply just grab this position uh, point right here and move it like. I'll start off a little bit up to the top right and then go two frames in once again. Move it to the other side, like somewhere around here. Then go like two frames in once again and I'll move it up top right here. Just don't do too much. Don't go like all the way over here because that will just look crazy. So just try to keep it a little bit close to the middle but at the same time just move it and then for the last frame right here i'll move it like this so if i play through right now it will probably look crazy because i think i did a little bit too much but let's see i mean i just gotta turn on motion blur and press u on my keyboard so i can see all of my keyframes now it looks like this it's still a little bit too much so what i want to do is actually just tweak these points a little bit drag them a little bit closer to the middle and it will be a little bit more subtle and now it looks just like this but i want to spice it up a little bit more because this is a little bit boring so i'll add on an exposure effect and this exposure effect i'll simply just drag onto the adjustment layer keyframe the exposure and then go two frames in drag up the exposure to like something like this go two frames in once again drag it down to zero two frames in once again and drag it up and then for the last frame right here i'll keep it back at zero so we just have a flash going on with this hit so now it looks like this it just helps us spice up the scene but in the intro i said that i will show you guys you can create 50 different variations of this and basically how i created 50 different variations of this was through my pack which i'll leave linked in the description and with this pack you don't even gotta create these effects you just simply create an adjustment layer then you just open up the hits and movements pack and in here I got 4K and HD format. So if we open up the 4K, you can see we have two maps with flash and without flash. And in the HD, we got the same, of course. And, and with flash, we have all of these effects. And for the HD one, since my footage is HD, I'll open that one up. And you can see that with flash, we got 25 presets in here. And without flash, we got 25 presets as well. And we got the same amount in the 4K one. So in total, it's 100 presets. And for the first couple of frames right here, let's say that I want a zoom out because these are really useful for the first frames of your scene. You just simply drag on the zoom out to your adjustment layer, turn on motion blur and that's it you simply just drag and drop these effects and like this hit right here i got these type of hits in the pack as well like you could create all of these presets yourself i've, I've showed you the technique so if you want to go for it go ahead and do that but if you want to save some time and just get my personal presets into your arsenal then feel free to go and download the full pack like for the next scene right here i could add a new adjustment layer first frame right here i'll cut the adjustment layer and i'll just go for the vertical hit one and turn on the motion blur just like that i have a vertical hit going on now it looks a little bit weird with these borders of the music video but you get the point and the best thing is that you don't need any paid plugins at all so right now we got this going on which looks good and i'm a huge fan of that so i'll create a new adjustment layer and in this pack i got a bunch of presets like these fast shakes if you want to drag this one on and then turn on motion blur you can see it's a pretty fast shake really intense just like that so i'll just be dragging on some presets show you guys what it looks like when i'm done and another effect inside this pack that is absolutely sick is this horizontal hit i just simply gotta drag it on you can use this like in the start of your scene or just like in the middle like this it just adds a lot more energy that one's sick 
but I'm pretty sure you've seen a bunch of effects like these in music videos before, so it shouldn't be anything new for you guys. I think I'll just do one last effect right here. And drag on like the zoom hit one and of course turn on motion blur and show you guys what we got so now we got this and i'm a big fan of that so but that's pretty much it i can end it off with a zoom out like we did in the beginning just like that so it looks a little bit smoother but now you should pretty much know how to create these type of effects and if you want to support me as a creator but also speed up your workflow and get some sick presets you know where to find the link to this pack i've already told you guys so thank you so much for watching, consider leaving a like and subscribing to see more sauce. And also follow the Instagram because I give out a lot of free sauce over there. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.